Yeah, boy. See if my fucking luck goes better this time. I mean, it can't go any worse streaming or non-streaming, so who cares anymore? Mm -hmm. I care. <coughs> yeah, well, you're doing good. You don't need any more luck. Feel like I do here. Oh, that sunset just looks awful. <laughs> yeah, I turned that off, man. I can't play with that on. It looks like a TV, like a busted, like, TV light strobing out when I come up to it. It's got to be your first lap out where you get your fast lap, eh? For the one I did? Yeah. Uh, I think it was the second one. Oh, really? All right. Oh, yeah, the weather just got a bit cooler. What's that? I mean, the weather just got cooler. Or well, we got like yeah, a nice. nice cloud. That's why everyone's going faster. Oh, God, you can still fucking almost overshoot that hit coming on the front of my line. That's oh, three planes. Sorry, Joe. All good, man. <laughs> well, I wasn't watching what I was fucking doing. <coughs> oh, no, nah, not Mick again. Fuck, the same guys, eh? You always come out of the pits and the same cunts fucking hold you up. See how it goes. Oh no, Mick again. Oh no, he's good. He's... Oof. Fucking hell.
Oh, the fucking wall. Come on. It's doing me fucking head in. I feel ya. Thanks, Aaron. Did you run like on the on the line for three and four? No, nah, go to the top. So you were running the wall. So I drift up to the top where the Darlington sign is. Like I just let off the throttle until I get just past the Darlington sign, and then I put back on the throttle and just run the top to the out mm. the corner. Mhm. Mm Fuck yeah, that's the man's way to do it. What's that? I said it's the man's way to do it. Oh, I mean, you can get bloody caught out when the friggin' tires come off. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. It's fucking hard to do, right? Yeah. Outside. Can't tell yet. Outside is clear. Oh yeah, come on, quick one, quick one, please. Oh, still not quick enough. <laughs> Getting there though, at least I'm in the sevens. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go out now and try to put a few laps together. Cause I've just been trying to do quality runs. Fuck, I'll just T-bone the fuck out of someone. Oof. Coming in hard, mate, this bloke. Never heard of him. I like him. Oh, fuck me. That was going to be a bomber. No good. Oh, she was excellent until just that last, you know, the very exit of four. It just sort of, the car doesn't want to turn. It either loops out or it pushes yeah, up yep. into the wall.
when you're coming into the pit, do you like get right to the bottom near the wall, or do you kind of stay on that bank on the apron to kind of come off of, like under the line? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I, I don't go to the pits very often, but um, I remember, I remember people. Yeah, you sort of, yeah, you sort of arc it out as much as you can by using oh, that, oh. yeah, that inner berm a bit. Yeah, so you're not just getting down to the bottom of the bloody wall and trying to... Yeah, just make sure, as long as you clear right off the track, though, and you, like, yeah, yeah. assess how many... If there's cars coming up too wide behind you, like, I'd yeah, just move down recommend, down. yeah, just getting on the anchors early. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's a fucking unique, a unique entry, man. There's no other entries like that. Of course, that was fucking who you know who. Whatever it is, it is, man. We can't fix it, so just have to write it out. Uh, Sorry. A little bit dizzy. Arms are a little bit full, but hey. Looks like he's making coming up to her. He's the only one that can crash that many fucking times, man. I don't understand it. It's a skill. Crab walking. Yeah. <clears throat> Just got another fast lap, but I don't think I'll be William. Nah. Whoa. Oh yeah, this shit's fast and furious, this lap. Oh yeah? Yeah, 28, 7, oh. oh. Oh, nice. Bombed it in there, mate, right near the end. Got old Williams and the uh, crank sandwich.
Hey, Murky, you remember, uh, Dick? Now nah, say again, what was that? <laughs> Dick. Dick. Uh, Dick. <laughs> 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 remember on those old movies or on ABC, the show, at the end of the show, this kid comes on and goes, Dick. Ah, oh, well, didn't watch ABC enough then. More of a late time, SPS waiting for the boobs. Well, on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was there. Oh, that's so good. Was there boobs? Nah, not on the dick ones, that was for kids. <laughs> No, we don't want to hear it from you, Todd. You mean deep, like as in like triple deep, yeah? <laughs> That's hockey. No, I mean dick, like a little kid's dick. I remember it clearly, don't worry. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah, see, he's back. Hey, at least I remember. I can't compete with that. <laughs> no, I just, it's just ridiculous how that was a thing, mate, back then. It was hilarious when we were kids to see that come up. Man, I watched that whole compilation the other day. It's like, just, just like going through the thought years. process to get that into your head, girly. <laughs> Holding his dick. <laughs> That's why they shoot yeah. me. Oh shit. Nah, mate, my got a lot deeper voice, mate, on my dick. Yeah, it's falling apart. Ooh, what what did you come at Bristol again? Did you come fourth? Fifth. Yeah. For the cup. Yeah. That's yeah, good. Fifth. Still a good um Uh that was me. <coughs> oh yeah, I saw your big black. Dick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you did it. Thick. You did it, mate. You did it. Thick. Oh, good luck. I don't know if we should be waiting. Is there going to be a, no, a cloud when I'm talking about? No, nah, well, there is, but I don't, I don't know. It's already pretty late in the afternoon anyway, by the sim time. Waiting or? Nah, I'm gonna go now. I'm 
out a couple good ones here. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Oh, Fuck it. Hell. Hey, if we get that lock out, that's good. That's pretty good if you can do that in your second lap, man, because my second lap felt good, but it was slower. I didn't run too hard on the first one. Yeah, I just sort of warmed them up. About losing the bloody arm, losing the back end. Oh, it's all up to Stevie Williams here. What's he going to do? You going to pull out a fucking winner? Yeah, I reckon he's got a whopper. I bet he does. He's got a duke. 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 <laughs> he's waiting till the oh, end. He's, oh, he's, he's done it. it. He's pipped it. Fuck, that's close time too, man. Damn. That's what we got. Foster behind you. Yeah, I told you that outside, mate. That's fucking scary. Yeah. I'm personally almost kind of happy I got pipped there. Yeah, he beat me by two one, one hundredths or whatever, and then I beat you by two one hundredths. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Luke, for sharing my stream. <clears throat> Are you just leaving it at 12? Yeah, hey, I was, yeah, I was having a little look at that then. I don't know. Yeah, I think I, so. I, um, yeah, I'm going to run a plus four. 12 to 1. I tried putting it on 14 just to see what it was going to do, and you just. Yeah. No way. Too sluggish. Like. We need that, need that bit of pop in the turn coming off three, especially. Have we got unlimited <clears throat> fast repairs or not? <laughs> well, if you take a look in your black box, you'll see. He knows. That's a joke to him, apparently. Oh, really? Well, I guess, I guess so. I guess I know. He knows that we haven't got fast friends. We never have an Ansgar. <laughs> there you go. One bloke thought it was funny. Oh, I'm just going to get a piss real quick. Yep. Ecast, you blokes 
first time I raced this thing in like a year. So, yeah, I'm not expecting too much. What are you doing back here, Neil? Oh, it's a wall wall. I looked up at the screen expecting 20 minutes left in practice and we've met the qualifying, so uh, this should be interesting. I uh, enjoyed your little insight <coughs> video, Jonesy. <laughs> My voice is just about recovered. Oh. Fucking 35 races. Bullshit, man. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I forgot the grid. Oh, well. No, you didn't. Yeah. No. No, that's all right. Coming from the pits. Oh, dude. It's all right. Around here, it's not such a bad problem. What were you, were you sitting there? Hmm. Right when I was about to press it, I banged my microphone and, like, I was like, re. Centered it, and then that was enough time to miss the fucking thing. So, uh, time is, you know, right. like I said, it's going to be a fucking shitload of cautions here. It's all right. You're on to do something special. It's fucking last to first, mate. I'll try my best. <laughs> Good luck. Watch out early there. It'll be the fucking pride of Darlington. The darling of darling is the start of Aaron, so if you want to go under me, you're welcome to, mate. Ah, uh, mate, I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to slide job it into the first Probably corner, boys. Just let you know. Just about all. <laughs> <laughs> Again. Hey, it goes off. Be ready. Fucking hard enough to do the post lap, let alone race. What are you doing, Gaz? Outside. Oh, fucking, I'm breaking, man. I don't want to get into a fight. Outside is clear. Working outside, outside. What? Clear. Outside. outside. Yeah. Clear, clear. That's crazy. I came out of the pits and didn't even end up in last. Really? Yeah, like it let me go really early. <coughs> right behind the fucking Toddster, mate. Hope he doesn't have a fucking issue again. Thanks, Breezy. Fingers crossed, mate. Steve Williams is letting people through. Oh yeah, yeah, he's playing his cards safe. Well, he let me through. Williams at the wall, he's dropping back. Working outside. That's what I needed. Clear. Twenty nine point six nine nine. Fuck almost died then. Did you die? No. Bye. 
Jinx it, but no cautions. There'll be one, mate. Outside. Oh, I just mean like it's impressive so far. Clear. Don't know how many cars in this track, but I'm sure it's a full grid. Outside. 29.258. Clear. Fucking hell. Hit the fucking wall. Yeah, I've hit it too. The car still feels pretty good though. Yeah, I just scraped it. See the back of the pack already. Yeah, Steve O's car is pretty fucked, man. Sweet. Like I'm about to pass him now for eleventh. And his whole right side's fucked. Did Ed would get around you? When did he pass you? Ed? Oh, he's been ahead since the start of the race. Oh, okay. I've got to go and pass him by now, but I haven't really been. I'm trying to push it. No, I think he's, not, he's definitely not pushing it either. My man wasn't even there then. My pit stop man, he's... He's taking the night off. 
Yeah, I'm lucky I I braked in the right spot. Nine. Go. We, don't, we don't have Darlington until like the 6th of May, so... Okay. Now I think he's just doing it because he's part of that FGM e-cast thing now, you know what I mean? To get some cars out on track, probably. He just didn't want to see me get a fourth win, mate. Come out to do something about it. Kind of those crank boys. Yeah, well now, now Stewie can't <laughs> give special privileges to us either. You know, he's gonna have to give it to Edward. I thought we'd get some sponsorship going, mate. Well, we used to be um, affiliated with FGM prior, like uh, to crank when it was. Virtual Motorsport Man's or 981 or whatever the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. I thought... That's why it's kind of weird that he went away from it. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what the reason was exactly. Like, I never even asked. That would have been cool to... Yeah, like, sure he's the man. Would have been keen to keep him on. One to go. He'll be lining up on the inside. In behind this one. 11. One. Minute 18. Point zero, zero, three. Like I suspect it just came to its natural conclusion and just we just moved forward and then maybe I don't know, maybe Ed and that approached him and said, Hey, do you want to do some sponsorship? And he's probably just gone, Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Don't know there was necessarily any dramatic like, you know, parting of the ways or anything like that. No, I don't think so. I think the message was in the team like when I joined Chris was like yeah. well you guys hanging still staying around or not and he was like now nah, I'm gonna do my own thing or whatever well I mean he just he's not racing as much as he used to give me to. 4x under caution you idiot oh. hey you brake checked me you dickhead hi boss man face guys off do you think <laughs> get the get the dogs Wish people would come up with their own fucking term, terms too. Never gonna happen, mate. All right, the sun's pissing off. That's nice. Sorry, Riley. Are you good? Are you? No, yeah. You are a cock, Rosie. Really <laughs> I don't even know you did, Kay. They were meant to be friends, those guys. Are they? Well, they oh, used to be. No, I did notice that Dylan moved teams. We didn't make contact, did we? So Dylan's on that Sim Boys team now, instead of Toddy's. But they're both like Tazzy guys. Both Tazzy teams. I don't know, you go too wide anywhere. Here comes Ryan. With great luck. He's, I reckon Ryan's gonna cause a bloody accident. Well, I'm right behind him and Lockie, which... Oh yeah? Yeah. Great, <laughs> That's why I'm taking my time here. That's why you noticed last week at Kansas, I was always letting them go and I was sitting in like fourth all the time. Like I was yeah. doing that on purpose, man, because I didn't want to be oh, in that with him, you know? Like he drives to a... Uh, yeah, I mean, look, I don't know what he's. Oh, Mirko's gone. Yeah, he must have been involved in that. Um, yeah, I don't know what his skill level is, but he, I reckon he's a bit sour grapes from last week. 
for not getting the win that he thought he was dog. supposed to get. Lucky dog coming around here, Phil. Skill, uh, skill level is, is, is not bad, man. He's just, um, he just drives a bit hard, but he might, he might have matured a bit. Oh, I mean, maybe he can, maybe he can drive hard and keep it up. I don't know. Well, he always used to just burn the tyres. Yeah, well, he was coming back to me last week, even though he thought he was going to hang on to it, but it definitely would have been between, uh, me, him and Preezy at the end, for sure. If that caution didn't come. That random little caution. Oh, don't worry, mate. I remember the caution. <laughs> <laughs> My pussy tastes like Pepsi Cola. Oh well, it didn't take me long to get back up to the front part anyway. It's on for you, mate. In your face on pub walls for the next hundred years, last the first. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. The funny thing was, I didn't even. I mean, I was near the back, but. Your game, Shirley. <laughs> it only gave me three seconds to wait before the. So how did you end up not last? Like did someone else? from the pit or something or um no no just because literally before you guys even passed it let me go rather than make up like it didn't hold me as long as it used to hold me before i could leave so like it gave me the green pretty much as you guys before you guys got to where i was i was able to roll out of the pits yeah, but does that mean like you were able to slide up into some random position? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Igor's gone, thank Christ for that. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, literally, yeah, I could slide up into like to the mid of the back of the pack. Yeah, right, okay. Like while we were pacing around, just let you come up. No, well, you weren't pacing, you guys were green. Oh, okay, sorry, yeah, and you just sort of slid up. Yeah. yeah, okay. yeah Whereas normally you'd lose fucking half a lap easy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking Ryan. What, he bump you? Oh, he's just, he's getting as close as he can. He's backed off a little bit now, but... You can just tell he's a bit edgy. Oh, this gets so claustrophobic, man. The first lap here when you're not out front. Like, it's alright for you, but when you're back where I am, it's like you can't see the corners at all. Yep. Oh, Jones, he's fucking slid it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm watching it. He almost cut me off too, the cunt. Go through, Riley. Oh, 
Oh, cool. See that? You got Dylan, you got Priest, you got Maxfield. Always the ones that are fucking causing shit, mate. What, they all took each other out, or...? No, oh, I don't know, but no matter what happens, there's at least two incidents per race by the same guys. Every fucking time. Imagine if you did that every race. I would feel a little bit embarrassed. Yeah, you just... Had me tuckering up a little bit there, boys. It's like, if everybody had, like... Say, so if you want to be fair, right, everyone should get one accident each, right? But imagine how many yellows there'd be if everyone fucked up all the time. It's always the same people that fuck up. Yeah, like if everyone was doing it. Yeah. Yeah. There'd be 30 plus fucking yellows. That's what I mean. Like in the cup racing, it's always been some gumba that's caused all these yellows to come out and put like everybody off pitch strategies and cause like all this weird shit to happen to make the races weird. It's never like, well, it's never like a legitimate, you know, wreck for the fucking lead or nothing like that. It's always just some random stupid one. Yeah, and it's always by like the same sort of dude, Billy fucking, Billy Hickster, mate, most of the time. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, Walsh. Hey, you're all bud. Line up behind you. Oh, shit. Thanks for announcing that, uh... You've had glasses on. Yeah, I was about to say it to you then. Just looking at me phone casually. But the... Yeah, I mean, your radio should tell you, man. Like, mine tells me every time now that there's Lucky Dog coming through. Oh, like as in the... Your pit crew or whatever. Yeah, the iRacing dude will say. Ah, uh, see, I've got the iRacing one switched off. You can have him on, and he, your pick, your crew chief overrides him, but okay. he will give you the extra ones like Lucky Dog and that as well. Oh, okay. Maybe I should turn it back on then. Yeah. Because just That's having that, here, having that helps. Me the land. Yeah, you, like having that Lucky Dog thing makes a big difference, man. It's only little, but. I'm normally just relying on someone else to sing it out. Yeah. Like if they're coming around, they'll sing out. <clears throat> oh, God, I need some more back support in this chair. The lumbar. If any of the three people watching my stream right now happen to be a, uh, you know, furniture salesman and want to sponsor me and get me a lumbar support, give me a call on 1-800-GOOD-TIMES. Lumbar. Lumbar support. I need that lower back support. I've got one of those um, things in my car that wedges between your lower back and your seat, pushes you forward. Yeah, yeah. Lower back. Oh my god, it's a fucking lifesaver. Can't you just chuck it on your seat and your sim nah, then? Nah, it doesn't, doesn't fit properly. Because the, the way the, um, like, the sides of the seat. Um, oh, yeah. This, yeah, the bucket up, things. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm wedged in this thing. Yeah. Like, well, if you're a slightly bigger driver than me, you're inside. probably not getting in it. One, eight, like I am eight, comfy. Eight, two. Oh, mate, I'll be fucking slip sliding around in there, mate. Yeah, you'll be fucking doing cartwheels. <laughs> I ain't the biggest guy. Well, I'm about six one, about uh, eighty one kilo, so just average build. Oh, that's pretty pretty light for someone who's six one though. Eighty one kilos. Yeah. yeah I usually hover around seventy eight, seventy nine if I can help it. I'm fucking. Like, yeah, I thought I thought I was five right foot seven. Right. I thought I was, and then I remembered I only made that up to the to make myself feel better in primary school. I think I'm probably like five, probably five six. I reckon. All right. Yeah. But I put twenty points a game on you in fucking basketball. No worries. Don't worry about that. On me. Oh, on anyone. Or just in general. <laughs> Not anyone, mate. Well, it's a challenge, mate. My 
Cousin used to play for the Perth Wildcats, mate. Careful. Did he? Yep. Aaron Traher. Yes. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. He's a legend, man. I used to love the way he played. Could have been a bit more. No, he, he played bloody everywhere. He played for Perth where he started and then he went to Sydney and then West Sydney and then Cairns and bloody nine. Well, can you play like him? Did I play like him? No, can you play like him? No, fuck no. Yeah, because right. I say like he had style, man, to his game. Like he had a good, good uh, sort of flow to the way he moved and that. Yeah, I just don't think he, he didn't have the biggest commitment. It seemed like I, did, I didn't know him very well because I didn't, I didn't grow up with him or anything like that. But I think by his own admission, he just didn't have that killer mentality. He just kind of liked playing. Yeah. I think he likes the pies as well. Oh, careful on the inside. Oh, shit, <laughs> it only works if someone lets you do it. Is he really commentating his own moves? Yeah, but he thinks he's a big gun. You could have held it on and there's no way you could have had that. Oh, well, that one hurt. Inside, inside. Go through. In and out, outside. Too wide. Clear outside. Hopefully that didn't slow you down too much. Nah, that's right. 29.384. Run your line, bud.
Go high, Ed. I'll go down below the line, mate. Go high. 10 4 line, no problem. 29.531. Good job, man. Don't change your line. They're going to move. Cheers, man. Yeah, it sucks how my race ended, but go well, guys. Go hard. Go low, Bink. You're right to go low down the back straight, man. 30.1, 5, Yeah, I didn't even understand what he said, mate. Something weird. Is your car just lost all turning, eh? Nah, it's not too bad. I could be passing Riley and Ruben running out of the honest. I'm just not pushing too hard at the moment. Oh, well, it comes down to when we decide to pit now, I think. Five. 
Thanks, Poe. All right, ma'am. Sorry, man. Oh, sorry, man. I was trying to go low for you. Sorry, man. No, oh, I came out of nowhere. Checking out back stretch. Pit road is open. Am I on the around at the gate? Yep, I'm getting there. Hope me man's there this time. Nah. Oh, signs out though. Yeah, This is going to suck on the restart because Edward's going to tell Josh when to go and they're going to get me up the inside. What sort of damage you have? We're going to restart behind the 53. Uh, 16 seconds of optional. Oh, that's right. Well, fuck, he must have kept it pretty light, man, on those bumps. I, I didn't bother taking him. I just come back out, but I overshot my pit lane. It cost me a couple of seconds and I lost two positions because of it. No, oh, well, I reckon in front of you, they're going to start getting feisty men and probably mm. take each other out. Oh, I mean, there'll still be close to 40 laps. Their tyres will come off at least 15 for sure. You go, if it goes green. Did you go? Did you just go radio silent before? Could you hear me talking or? Uh, nah. You couldn't hear me talking at all. Nah. What were you? When were you talking? I didn't hear nothing. I, I mean, I've been talking, and all of a sudden I was like, I st it started clicking to me that you weren't answering. I'm like, are you there? Oh, no, no, I, I didn't hear anything, man. Oh, okay. That's weird. Weird. 
you guys like going, uh, if you can hear me. Um, no, yeah, no, I wouldn't ignore you, man. If I no, could. No, I know. <laughs> I figured, like. Even if I was in an intense battle, mate, I'd make a noise or something. Dick. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 seriously, that's weird, man. I don't know if that's my side or your side. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, my mic is, you know, fluctuating on the stream as far as it's working, so. Yeah, I must just be, maybe, maybe Discord went weird for a minute. That's what, um, yeah, maybe. it was weird from the start, so. Spots. Can't do that here. The radio that you're on has that little mini antenna on it. So if there's something pertinent you need to tell us, try to do it on the front straightaway. One to go. One minute eighteen point seven nine three. Should be on the outside this time. Jones is off. He's wrecked. Oh, a big one too. No yellow.
I've got to work on a new song for fucking the hot toddy hero, mate. That's 100% the next one. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about him.
take it to you then. True. Fuck, it's hard to pass, man. Yeah, got held up by a bloody lapper and I was gaining on third and fourth. Well, I think tyres now are really coming in, but it's... I don't know how to get around Edward here. <laughs> Lost too much time trying to get past him. An inside cape. Thanks, thanks, mate. Thirty point two eight four. Oh, I fucking hit the wall hard, boy. Oh shit. I heard that. Yeah, that's a bad one. Fuck, that's the same shit that happened at Bristol the other night, man. It's like, had it all under control and just laps of concentration, eh?
Ah, shit, I'm sorry, so it's gonna hold up your night. Nah, all good. No worries. Cheers, Nigel. Cheating it. Thanks, Jamie. No worries. Sorry, mate, if that was a bit awkward. White flag, one more lap. 30.8. Oof, a couple more, mate, oh. and you would have flown past me. <laughs> oh, I just didn't have enough at the end there. What I'm in. Good. Bed. Mm -hmm. That feels like a win after my last few weeks. Woo. Yeah, good win, mate. Good win, Ed. Good drive there, Riley. Yeah, I hit the wall. Big old fucking yeah, whack, man. Clean. And my car just died. Went from being right on Edward's ass to just... Yeah, barely hanging on then. Oh, that's good recovery though for you, man. Yeah, my different people. 
banged up, yeah. Different people scored the everyone. points as well, so be looking good for your bloody um championship or whatever. Yeah, well done, Edward. Riley, yeah, needed, Sherlock. Needed Steven to finish, finish a bit further down. <laughs> well done, guys. Well done, guys. Well done, well done, well done, good win, good win. Edward, Edward. One of Riley, Riley, Skelly, Skelly. Yeah, yeah it's a couple of bumps, eh? It fucks the car, man. Even if it doesn't really... Yeah. Even if the damage isn't that bad, it just affects everything big. Yeah, I thought I had better pace in Riley too. I just, yeah, there's a couple of mistakes. It cost me too much in the end. Oh, yeah, at the end there, you were coming in fucking fast. Mm. Oh, no, it's better than four seconds on the road. I'll tell that. Hey, if we can get out of Darlington unscathed, well, you know, points wise. Oh, I better go over there, man. I'll, oh, oh, um, yeah. If you're around after, I'll talk to you. Otherwise, have a good afternoon. And I'll talk to you later. Oh, I'll jump off, man. But I'll talk to you through the week. Oh, man. I'll, I'll, I'll listen to the interview. Ah, uh, catch up. Catch you, man. Well done. We have got an off week for the um, cup this week, so I thought, oh, well, you know, I've probably got time to jump into one. Plus, the fact that it was Darlington uh, really helped because I love Darlington. So, um, yeah, it was really cool to be able to come in and uh, come in and get a good result. I, I really genuinely was not expecting much. Um, and then when I saw Stevie Dove on pole, he's been so good um, in this series so far, and Traher there as well. I'm like, oh, well, you know, those two are probably going to fight it out between themselves. But, uh, yeah, it didn't happen. I'm, I'm happy. There's a fair bit of uh, tyre fall away for them for that long period there, so maybe pushing a little bit too hard. But uh, the uh, the grip levels tonight pretty low from what we understand from the, the drivers who grabbed from uh, the care centre. Um, look, it didn't really seem that bad. I think um, if you if you overdrive it, then yeah, definitely the um, the tyres suffered. But um, I was just really just doing my best to try and look after it, um, especially being up front. You've got that kind of luxury of the fact that Darlington's actually quite hard to pass on as well. So um, I was quite happy to let guys draw up to me and fight as much as I could um, and just try to outlast them tyre-wise, which uh, seems to be, well, I guess you'll have to ask them, but that seems to be what happened. Um, so as far as, as far as the tyres, they, they weren't too disastrous, I don't think. Well, a, uh, a race will run for you. And um, just uh, we've been asked to change the order of things a little bit here tonight. So just uh, a quick run through your sponsors before we jump on to uh, Riley, Riley Curtis in second. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yeah, it's really cool to uh, get the get the first win for Natari under the belt. Um, it's only a truck win, but I'll, I'll take it nonetheless. And, of course, we want to thank uh, Ferguson Group Media, Bridgestone Select, Race Magazine, and also Two Fat Blokes for their support. Fantastic there and a good run and uh, yeah, great uh, to get the win for Natari there um, in just the second outing for the team um, with the revised uh, lineup there. So congratulations. Thanks very much. Riley, jumping over to you, mate. A uh, massive drive for you tonight, up a whopping 19 places into the second position uh, for Mark 1. Uh, a really, really strong drive and performance and uh, probably the one we've been waiting for uh, for the team. So congratulations on your second place. Yeah, thanks. It was... It was a pretty, pretty good drive through the field. I didn't obviously find a lot of the troubles the other boys seemed to with, with running out of grip, so I thought it was quite good out there. We did notice through the session that a couple of guys had uh, issues with some of the transition in the track as well and um, a, a little bit of lap traffic, but uh, you managed to drive through that without too many dramas? Yeah, I just looked after my tyres early in the run, made sure that they were tight as those green runs went on. Um, everyone was quite courteous, which uh, makes it a lot easier when everyone's good to race against, so no dramas. Yeah, absolutely there. And um, 20, 21st in qualifying, just not quite able to get it down on, on the cold track? Uh, I don't actually like Darlington, so I intentionally ran really slow in qualifying. Um, and then just the race, it somehow hooked up, so... Oh, that's good to see, and as I said, um, a, uh, a good run there. Unfortunately, um, not able to get the uh, the team across the line with the uh, the Black Cat Syndrome still uh, impacting Aiden, but it was uh, good to see one of the Mark 1 boys get up the front. So, um, a, uh, a quick drop for your sponsors? Uh, yeah, we've got 
uh, Vertex, Acuta, uh, Michi Forklifts, Mitsubishi Forklifts, major sponsors MLA, plus uh, just the whole Mark 1 team for you know, merging with A1 and giving us a chance to run with a bigger team. So good to get them on the podium finally after a few unlucky weeks. Yeah, absolutely, and excited to see what comes uh, with that whole setup as well. Um, and uh, hopefully you can uh, get uh, Aiden up there as well at some stage in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, he's he hoping that all of our luck turns a bit better soon. We run over Black Cats, but thanks again to you boys for putting on a good show. Uh, no drums at all, it's our pleasure. And uh, jumping over now to uh, Mr. Skurlock. Uh, the pit lane crusader who's managed mm. to make a run from pit lane up into third place tonight. It wasn't intentional, mate. <laughs> I was a bit too relaxed there on the start and just forgot, mate. Forgot to come in. But uh, uh, luckily, like, it started me off real quick, eh? Like, it only gave me a three-second hold and then it let me off and I came out. It wasn't even at the back, which is pretty weird. Yeah, we sort of, you snuck up us on a little bit there. We um, we were watching along and looking, and then all of a sudden you're in 13th position. So uh, we uh, you, you could have got away with it there. We thought you just had a ripper run straight out of pit lane and managed to move yourself up into 13th. But obviously a, a good drive there. Um, a little bit late on, just uh, copying a bit of damage that slowed you down in the chase for Foster. Yeah, I mean, early on, you can't really try hard here. You can't try and pass people because it's too hard like you wear your shit out real quick sorry for the language <laughs> australian mate can't help it um it's not a pg show you'll be right yeah now what happens is you go underneath people and they got the outside and you just can't get it done and it just wears them out so i just took my time and like luckily just moved up really without passing many people to be honest people sort of messed up and hit the wall and blah 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 but then yeah i got behind ed i know that he was just sort of taking his time so I was like, I was happy to just sit there behind him for a while and just keep, you know, wait for him to hopefully to make some sort of mistake because the only way else to do it is to slide jobs people into the wall, you know. Um, and then I had a big old hit, mate, into that wall down the back straight and the car just went nowhere after that. And then Lukey was coming. He was about to pass me. If we had one more lap, he was going to get me for third there. Yeah, well, everyone obviously struggling a little bit there as well. We saw um, Luke get up into the wall. In fact, we saw a number of the guys that usually run up the front, Steve Williams, copying, uh, copying a little bit too. So a, a difficult track, clearly not one favoured by all of the drivers, but um, a little bit of a difficult night for everyone. But congratulations on your drive from uh, the rear of the field. Yeah, and no, I appreciate it, man. Just good to get a result, a decent one for once. It's been a bit bad lately. Yeah, of course, last week, uh, completely running out of luck there as well. So just your uh, sponsor rundown as well, uh, quickly there, Mick. Yeah, uh, Virtual Motorsport Mentor uh, and iRace Designs. And you guys for putting it on, boys. Thank you. Always welcome there, running in the Crank Esports team too. So uh, that is our grid. Uh, grid, I keep saying that. That is our podium even for tonight. Not our grid, they're part of the grid, but that is our podium for tonight. We had Edward Foster taking out the win, followed by Riley Curtis and Michael Scurlock as our top three. Uh, Luke Traher in fourth, Ruben Phelps in fifth, uh, Carol Walden sixth. We had Maddie Raymond seventh, Steve William eighth, Kate Donnelly ninth. Good drive from Kate again tonight. And uh, Paul Jackson rounding out the top ten for tonight at Darlington and uh, that uh, Carl uh, was uh, quite a clean run it was it was a really fun race to actually watch there of course next time out we are heading to the circuit of the Americas and while we've got some of you up here in the booth of course uh, what are you expecting running at the at Cota in the trucks uh, I won't be there so <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'll see the other two we'll, we'll see you at Sonoma Red no, you won't. <laughs> I didn't even know about this Circuit yeah, of Americas, so, what are we doing there? Yeah, a bit of a strange one to head to. Um, obviously, you got some experience on the road racing, Scurly. Uh, you must be pretty happy to see a track on the uh, on the old schedule. <laughs> I don't know about that one, though. Have you, seen, have you been there? The chicanes <laughs> at the start are going to be a nightmare. <laughs> Absolute I can't nightmare. I imagine driving a truck around there, I must say. Uh, going to be an interesting one for sure, but... Uh, that that's going to be something very different for the truck series a very different challenge as well something very different from what we've seen tonight yeah, it's a very long circuit too it'd be yeah i'll be really interested to see how they handle to be honest if it's really plowy it could be a very long night 
No, I'll yeah, get we'll... the sleep, sleeping bag set up in preparation for that one just in case we <laughs> end up spending most of the night on the broadcast. But I must admit, when I saw it, I thought, oh my goodness, what are we doing going there? But that's all right. It's interesting to watch. Yeah, so so could be America's next week, 5th of uh, April. And then, of course, we're heading off to Martinsville for the Cup, the 8th of April. Uh, so the uh, Cup action will be back next week. Of course, we've got a week off this week. Um, and I'll jump over to you, Stuart, for what's coming up on FGM Newcast. Yeah, absolutely. So tomorrow night, 7.45, we head back to the circuit for Oz Pro am from Mount Panorama tomorrow night for a, uh, a split sprint race there and uh, with the whopping grids we've been having at that series not too dissimilar to uh, Anne's car it's going to be interesting with the GT3s running there so um, very good parity across that class and uh, looking forward to getting